hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about one of the scenario related to approval flows where we want to take action or respond to any approval actions or tasks outside of power automate or teams so as you are already aware that whenever we create any approval flows so we are resulted into creation of the tasks for example if i go to the approval section you will see all these actions these are nothing but tasks where if i click on it you can take the approval action as a respond to this task approved, rejected or assigned to somebody else. So as we know that uh, if we are going to work with approval flows then task would be created and you would also get the notification into teams related to those tasks where you can take the action. But what if I wish to update these tasks or actions or respond to these tasks or actions out of my power automate or teams. Let's say one SharePoint page with SPFX web part or power apps with the cards where I can respond to this task. So for that, to make that happen, we'll be taking help of Flow APIs where we would be registering one app into Azure portal and then using that app, we would be creating one uh, custom connector which will in turn call the API flow.microsoft.com so that it can take actions based on the endpoint which we pass. So let's do that. So I am going to open my Azure portal so that I can start registering one app. I can go to Microsoft Intra ID where I would see all the app registration. So there is app already registered for it. I'll just show you what that app is and how you can register your new app. So I just went to app registrations and I will search for my register app that into all application flow this one. So if you wish to do a new registration, so you have to click on new registration give it a name let's say power automate flow approvals and register with account in organizational directory and once it's registered created then just go to certificates and secrets create a new certificate and give it a name and once it's created then just copy this value so that you can use this value going forward when we are going to use a custom create a custom connector and post that go to api permissions add permission and in this permission we will choose power automate so if i scroll down i will find the permission related to power automate and over here we will be using delegated permission and you can check all these check boxes related to approval as major task we are going to do is with approvals only but also you can do that manage flows so you can do a add permission and do a grant admin consent to those permissions so once it's done we'll keep this screen open because there is one more step in the authentication which we are going to do once we are going to create the custom connector because we have to set up the redirect urls into this authentication of this app so for now we are good with this app registration now i'll go back to my Power Automate and we'll just start creating one custom connector and I'll start that from blank and name that as Power Automate External Approvals let's say create it and we are going to start with the host name and host name would be api.flow.com but you can find the exact name by Duplicating the screen, go to my flows and do a F12 or insert, uh, open the developer tools and you can clean this up and do a again refresh this page so that you can able to find the actual invoke operation over here and in this you will have this your URL for invoking this. So the region is India, india.api.flows.com which we are going to use. So I pasted this one and now we will start going to the security tab. So over here we are going to set the security authentication mechanism as OR 2.0 and we'll change that provider as Azure Active Directory provider. And over here we are going to paste our client ID, client secret which we created for the app which we registered over here so i'll just copy this which i copied into my notepad and i'll just set this up in client secret and this is my app id that is client id and paste it 
and now I'll just go to move to the next step and in the source URL we have to specify the source URL that is service.flows.microsoft.com so I pasted this one so I will just paste this in my notepad so that I can directly paste this into my video description you can directly use this so now we are good and now we'll just directly move to the definition and in definition we are going to create new action so first action as I said I wish to extract the my active task or the approval actions which are waiting for the approval so I'll just name this as get approval actions and I'll use this same in the operation ID without spaces okay. and you can put up that into description as well so in this one we are going to just do a get request where we are going to extract the all the approval tasks which are in active state so for that this is the endpoint which I have already constructed for me so what it, it has is it has the variable as environment and the filters if I just split it then filters property user low equal to owner and properties is active so this is the filter you have to pass because we want to extract the tasks which are in active state and which where the owner wants to respond it and the top is the top 100 tasks so only 100 can be uh, max can be extracted so I'm just copying this entire URL and pasting over here so that I can import this one so you can see it generated path environment path uh, variables for me where I can uh, pass on this query API version filters and top directly into my when when I test my this action and I'll go to next all plugin preview so this one we can skip we can directly go to uh, test and before test we have to create our connector so I'll just creating it now I'll go back to my security part again as you remember I told you like we have to do one more additional step of setting up the redirect URL so I'll just copy this here redirect URL and we'll go to my this app registration which we registered the app which we registered and we'll again find out the app and we'll go to the authentication part and we'll add this add as a platform web and I'll paste the copied URL over here configure so we are good now we can test our connection I directly go to test and do a new connection and in this environment we are going to provide the environment so this is my default environment you can see you can copy this environment from here and API version API version is 261101 so this is again a static one and in filter the filter query which I have written so we are going to pass this filter queries where active users the user is owner role and the active task is should be active true and top how many records you want to extract so we got a success over here we are able to extract all the approvals which are in active state top 101 so if I just copy this and paste into notepad you will see a better uh, properties or attributes to it so for example this one so this is one action which with name this ID this UID and properties is active true owner this is the owner ID name uh, person and if you go scroll down you will find the other attributes related to approvers principal who is who the task is assigned to that sort of stuff you will see the entire metadata related to approval action so now for next where we want to approve or take a response to respond to this task just remember to copy this name because we are going to make a new call into a new action that will actually would be a post call to approve to make a respond uh, to make a response to this action so we are going to create a new action with this endpoint within the same api flow so now i will go to the definition and we'll add a new action and this action would be let's say take action or respond to task or action let's say and in 
ID, I'll paste the same ID. And over here, we are going to start import from sample. And this time we are going to do a post operation. And I am going to copy the endpoint for it. And this endpoint would have the same provider, Microsoft Process Simple Environments. And this would be environment name, approval name, that this name would be the approval name. So if you are going to make this adjustment via Power Apps, then have a field which actually stores this task name so that you can able to identify that particular task. And then after that, we have this API version. So this URL, I am going to again paste from into my custom connector and over here with a post. And in body, we are going to pass on the body in body what we are going to pass we are going to pass the json related to response and comment so this body this payload we are going to pass and i have added it import and as soon as i import it you can see the variables are created for environment name and approval name api version and the body so i can proceed to update this connector first and then we do a test now going to the test tab and this time we are going to select our the second action respond to action and again environment is same approval name i'll copy the task name so that we can respond to this specific action task and api version is again 2016-1101 and in properties what we want to take an action is approve and in comments i will add approved by approved from backend or if you are approving from some other mechanism from power form then just write it those comments so i'm just doing a test operation so we got an error on this so let's scroll down okay so error is uh, the selected response option approve is invalid and the valid response option is approved so okay so we have to say approved and I'll just do a test again. So now it's a success. So just remember because this uh, options, there's a custom option which I have created for my approval one, and those option was approved, sent back to manager or sent back to finance team. So if you just remember to have the right respond property over here, it's it could be approved, it could be approved based on your requirement. So that's it. So we have created this custom connector. Now we can just close this one and can create one simple flow where we can actually use this. So you can create an instant cloud flow. And I'll just set that trigger as manual one so that we can just show. We can just have this custom connector, add an, add an action. And from this category, I'll just select the custom one and we'll add my this power automate external get approval action and environment as the parameter we have set up so you can cap copy this environment from your browser url and over here you can set up these api version filter and all these one or you can do a show all so i'll just copy my api filter from my this url that is properties equal to on a roll and equal to as true filter again 50 item or not this one sorry this is filter is this and api version is 20 16 11 and top i wish to just get the 50 items so i'm just saving it and running it so you have all your current approval actions in the output of this body and in the next action you can use this respond to task and set up your input fields as we did in our custom connector and you can use it so this is the intent of video so because i got uh, many queries related to this that how you can take an action on the on the approval items out of this our automate our ms teams thanks for watching the video if you have questions then do drop your comments and like my video Thank you.